NFL players have one freaking job to do and it's to play football and lead their teams to victory. But for whatever reason, these oppressed millionaires think that we give a flying crap about their feelings about politics, where they're now hijacking our favorite pastime to broadcast their disgusting anti-American sentiments on the football field. While the NFL does major damage control as their protesting athletes are turning fans away in droves with viewership now down by a startling 14 points, Team USA hockey coach John Tortorella has a brutal message for his athletes, as he takes these protests very personally, being that he's the father of a deployed soldier who's daily risking his life to defend our country's freedom. Movie stars and athletes have one job to do and it's to provide entertainment for Americans. After working 40-plus hours during the week and battling the stress of traffic, angry bosses, and all the other stresses of family life and crap to do around the house, most Americans use sports and movies as a way to unwind and put all the BS out of their minds. But now we can't even turn on a Netflix show or tune into an NFL game without being bombarded by some whiny liberals' nasty sentiments about our president or about our police officers, as the cancer of liberalism continues to creep into every facet of our daily lives. The NFL is learning the hard way that they need to keep politics out of the game after a rough couple of weeks have spelled disaster. Not only are their ratings plummeting to double digits, but over the weekend nearly empty stadiums served as an ominous warning of things to come if they don't quickly get these protests under control. Team USA hockey coach John Tortorella isn't about to have his sport ruined by whiny protesters, and in a bold and uncensored rant to the Trump-hating anchors on EPSN the other day, he revealed the politically incorrect thing he has planned for any of his athletes who dare to disrespect our country with their anti-American antics. Tortorella whose son is an army ranger and currently deployed with the 75th Ranger Regiment, has zero tolerance for idiots who disrespect our soldiers and our nation's flag, and takes protests by athletes like Colin Kaepernick as a personal insult. He told ESPN's Linda Cohn, if any of my players sit on the bench for the national anthem, they will sit there the rest of the game. America NGG.net reported. Tortorella now has a zero-tolerance policy for players who refuse to participate in the national anthem during the World Cup of Hockey tournament. In the wake of San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick's protest, Tortorella now has a zero-tolerance policy for players who refuse to participate in the national anthem during the World Cup of Hockey tournament. The World Cup of Hockey is scheduled to begin on September 17, 2016 and will last through October 1, 2016 in Toronto, Canada. The tournament will feature competitors from countries throughout North America, Europe, and Asia. This is only the third World Cup of Hockey. The United States won the inaugural tournament in 1996 and Canada won the previous event in 2004. It's good that Tortorella is squashing potential protests among athletes in the USA Hockey League before they even get started. If NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell cared at all about the red-blooded Americans who comprise the majority of the NFL fan base, he would have squashed those protests months ago. But instead, he's turned his back on the outraged fans, saying that fans need to be more understanding of the protests, where he is now siding with black players who are raising raising black power salutes every time they sack a white player on the field, a disgusting racist symbol that black supremacists have used for decades to display their supremacy over the white race. During the second quarter of the game against the 49ers over the weekend, Seahawks defensive end Michael Bennett celebrated tacking white quarterback Brian Hoyer by flashing the black power fist into the air. This gesture was a head nod to black supremacists around the country, where the all-black media confirmed Bennett's actions were a pro-black power gesture in the following tweet. Every time a protesting athlete takes a knee or sits on their ungrateful behinds while our colors are raised, it's a direct slap in the face to every American who have fought, bled, and died for this country. If the NFL wants to continue to side with these protesters and insult our soldiers and our police officers, we can counter with our own version of protests, and continue to make their ratings tank with our refusal to tune into their disgusting anti-American games.